To truly know a city, we must know who believes in it, who invests in it, who has a stake in its future. This is Detroit. It is a city where something quite remarkable is taking place, something unique in the history of cities. For here on these 33 acres of riverfront property. Detroit State of Mind is on the air! Bringing you the sounds of Detroit's underground, straight to your ear holes. Rock, punk, and metal. If it's Detroit, you'll hear it here. Unless you're a dick. And now, your overlords. Rich and Dave. State of mind is on here. So 49, bitches. What's up, bullet wound? Yeah. Hey. Bullet wound in the house. What's going on?
No All right, shit. We do Nothing. this stupid thing where you go around the table, tell us your name and what you do in the band. Um, Colonel Ben Scullet Slander. I can't even hear him. Is your mic working? Yeah, it's working. It's working. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got to lean in more then. Here, right. let's shove it down your face. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll try it again. I'm Bill. I'm playing the bass. I'm Paul. I'm playing guitar. Eric playing guitar. If Rob you call it that. Playing the drums. Good to have you, fellas. Yeah, absolutely. You guys fucking kicked ass. Nice man. to be here. First time I heard this Paul Smith band. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were in this fucking band, to be honest with you. That's better that How way. How many fucking bands you in, man? <laughs> Um, all of them? <laughs> all of them. <laughs> so how long has Bullet Bullet Wound been around? Who, two years at least. So. More than that, probably. probably closer to three. You need to lean in more to that mic. Probably more than you, you can move it. You, know, you, you can pull it right to you. I think three years. Yeah, probably closer so, yeah. to three now. Yeah? Hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, we spent a lot of time trying to find a guitar player. So we started out with somebody. And, and you settled with him? They settled. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. He found us. We had a guy named Randy on guitar for a while, and then he bailed, and Paul volunteered. Right on. That was probably more than two years ago. Right? I think he probably volunteered because he figured it was just a one, uh, one, one show gig. So <laughs> little but does he know. Little did he know we'd uh, rope it in. Right. <laughs> Oops. I was digging it. It's good shit. Yeah. Well, thank you, Green Lantern. Remind you guys of anything? Style-wise, band-wise? Huh? Did we remind you of any style? Or hey, band? get closer to the mic, Bill. The strains? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> who who writes the songs? Do you guys, is it a group thing? Yeah. Yeah. All of us have Pretty much, he's, yeah. he's pretty much words only, and these yeah. two guys are the music. Pretty much. So lyrically, like... like uh, All three like, of like, us write the riffs. Yeah. And then, right, right. You know, yeah. yeah. Then so, he vets them. And then I rearrange them in the correct order. Totally change it all around. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, but this will sound better. It's, it's a group effort, really. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what, like, like lyrically, like, what are you writing about? A lot of stuff. Uh, mostly politics, but you know, from my own particular point of view. Because nobody's sick of hearing about politics. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that's. What I don't do them. Done right. It's good. What politics? I try. Yeah, capitalism or something. Yeah, you're yeah, entitled to your opinion, you know, man. From a uh, minarchist point of view, probably. You okay. Know, libertarian type kind, kind of thing. So at least it's something different from that perspective. Fair enough. Bring in the crickets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah and where's, the, where's the James Brown thing where people talk about politics? Here? I always yeah, say about, As a libertarian, I'm again. used to crickets. So. <laughs> yeah. I always say more dragons. <laughs> more more monsters <laughs> right there's one about yeah, i mean i you know i've done the monster thing I've done, I've there's one about the, vintage you know, beers metal thing, so. <laughs> vintage beers nice yeah we have a song about vintage beers. we need more middle earth in this band <laughs> <laughs> yeah that one's pretty cool the words are pretty cool to that one although what's that here for the beer with all the vintage beers you, oh, you rattle yeah, well, off yeah, it's pretty cool you guys were talking about talking about beer earlier we, yeah, I was going to say, we actually have a song about that. Wow, this cat's oh, really friendly. I'm just here for the She's beer. Cool. Yeah. Right. And it hits all the, you know, 80s, you know, 70s and 80s. Falstaff, stuff. Black Label, yeah, Red, White, and Blue. That's Fall right. Death. That's right. America. Oh, yep. Cincy Cream Ale. Never heard of that one. Which one? Cincy, Cincy Cream Ale. Cream. Is that an Ohio is, thing? Is that a yeah, pop? Yeah, out of Ohio. Is that a pop or a it's, beer? No, it's a uh, beer. I've never heard of that before. Little yeah. King's Cream Ale. It was out of Ohio. Ooh. So um, you're saying about Little Kings? What they call it, Cincy Cream Ale up here? Yeah, yes. I'm from Cincinnati, you know. It's called Sorry. Little Kings. Well, yeah, yeah whatever. Well, those are in the bottles, <laughs> the little bottles. Like when this. were you born? I'd rather not say. <laughs> I was going to say it's probably the last time Cincinnati fixed their roads. <laughs> I think Michigan's bad. Fuck. Actually, I was in Cincy a couple years ago. The roads were not that bad at all. Oh, last time I drove through it was terrible. Because really? I fixed them. Ah. I went down there. I fixed it. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. It took me like six Got my hours. cold patch out. Let's roll, boys. Yeah. <laughs> Choo-choo. <laughs> well? What else you got? Nothing. That's it? Get out of here. Beat it. What do you play? Get out of here? <laughs> we got nothing to say. So you asked us what, what we thought you sounded like. Like, what do you think you sound like? Like a bag of dicks. Oh, Obviously, like everyone always says, Motorhead and Discharge. What blending. inspires you? Bring it on. Yeah, I hear a little bit of Motorhead in there, especially punk. in the bass. Yep. Wait, say that again. The old UK punk, you know, um, the 
hardcore, the oi, the, just the punk in general. Big, it's been my biggest influence, anyways. Is that too quiet? Yeah, lean yeah no, you're all right. Like, gobble that thing in your mouth, yeah. man. But, uh, I have no idea. I'm, <laughs> uh, I'm curious how people hear us, you know. A lot of I think it screams past. Detroit rock and roll, man. Yeah. Like, like, really. Absolutely. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I suppose yeah. it can't really help but being influenced by that since we've been around for so long. So. Yeah. Right? Yeah, when you've seen it all, right? <laughs> I think all of us have been in uh, Detroit almost our whole lives. Except Going on 40 all, years you know? now, so. Yeah. So yeah. is this the first band that you've been in? or No. What? Oh, turn it off. What, what are you cold? No, it's just loud. Anyway. That's just a stupid buzzer. No, I mean, we're, you know, me and Bill were doing gore back, like, in the mid-80s, like, 85, 86. Yeah. We did a ton of shows back in those days. Gore? Yeah. Like, grindcore music? Well, no. It was, the band it was, was called Gore. The band was called oh. Gore. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was like, uh, it was like a discharge type thing. Detroit seems to love their hardcore, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of hardcore, a lot of punk. But this is not that. No, it's, no not. it's definitely this not. This is that. just straight up fucking rock, rock and roll. And roll man. It is. I, and if, I think it has metal tendencies more than it does punk to me. It's got yeah. some heavy I don't spots. feel any metal at all, to be honest with you. Just I rock can't. And roll, yeah, just rock and roll, yeah. man. The, yeah. The riffs I write mostly come from like, you know, like a lot of metal and stoner rock influence and the early punk, you know what I mean? But that uh, groove is what, uh, you know what I mean? I just dig that. You know, like you can hear that in a lot of oh, the buzz bad now. the end and stuff. Yep. It's got, yeah, you can it's pretty it. good. It doesn't come through in a recording, though. Weird. Yeah. Hey, Paul, why don't you fix that for us? I'll be right over. You're here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have my fucking tools with me. What do you need? Soldering iron and a voltmeter, motherfucker. Don't have that. Okay. <laughs> I cleaned my van out, or I had all that in my van like the day before yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I mean, back to the metal thing, you know, I I would say, what was the guy on uh, Young Ones? Uh, Vivian? Vivian, you know, it's not very metal, <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, at least in my opinion, it's a, pretty Dude. much the opposite of that. Yeah, I don't hear metal at all, man. I don't either. Yeah, I don't either because I can't even fucking play metal. Right? If it was metal, I'd be like, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Well, when I when I say metal, I'm talking like old exciter venom stuff i'm not talking 80s, like the stuff today 80s. that's a Underground trigger and, you know, I fucking the, love that i'm still gonna disagree it just sounds like three chord detroit rock and roll baby yeah, you yeah know? that's cool yeah you guys should cover warhead from venom i love it the melvins did a great version of it really i've never heard that yeah they did oh i gotta find that it's on everybody <laughs> loves sausages uh, they do and buzz buzz has that good voice for that yeah, yeah it's good hear the thunder roar <laughs> you can listen to like the first two venom albums and you hear like more rock and roll you know i seen I mean? venom i think it was at blondies you know oh i saw a lot of bands i never even heard of venom <laughs> Who's Venom? Oh, my God. <laughs> Evil. I'm leaving. Fucking Sorry. Equal Satan. Fuck, <laughs> fucking Kronos, man. Well, yeah. thanks for coming over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Venom's old school good shit. Yeah. No, never heard of it. I think I've seen him with Celtic Frost. Wow. Celtic Celtic Frost. Yeah. However you want to say it. I still tomato, say, tomato. It is Celtic, but I say Celtic. I don't I always know said why. Celtic I Frost. I always have, too. The yeah. Boston Celtics. That's a That's sin, That's why. Man. Yeah, right. I remember that when that first time my buddy sin. heard it, it was, it was Sepultra. Sepultra, <laughs> Sepultra, yeah. man, yeah. Sepultura. Sepultra. That's right, Sepultra. Sepultra. Yeah. Wow. Well, I think that's probably because a lot of people didn't know that you know the word was yeah, it was like Portuguese. Sepultura. Yeah. Now I can't even fucking pronounce it. <laughs> Sepultura. Sepultura. <laughs> Sepultra. It Why? was derivative of that. I have, so. They have the problem with these new metal bands is you can't even read what the name is. Oh, you shit band. me? <laughs> yeah, they just pile up a bunch of sticks. Say that's our logo. That, that, <laughs> is, that is true. I that's made so true. Yeah, I know it, dude. All the artwork is too. unreadable. Right. It's all the same style. All of it. Yeah. yeah. Hey, when we're done with this, I made some shirts yesterday. I'm going to have you try to read this. I don't know what the fuck it says, dude. <laughs> I have no clue. You need metal interpretation class. Dude, yeah. it looks like a bunch of fucking twigs, man. <laughs> like, is it just a pile of sticks in the yard? There's our logo, dude. Yeah. I just noticed the whole silkscreen thing over there. Yeah. That's cool. I, that's, I walked past it 50 times and didn't even notice it. No shit. Well, now you know. There's what are you boy, guys making shirts for, like, my your, boy Jeff your Dahmer stuff? Up or there. Just, huh? do you guys do a... Well, I was fired from my job a month ago. Okay. And uh, I do this full time now. Oh sweet! Yeah. You do T-shirts then? Yeah, yeah. Cool. You can yeah. do one for my uh, for my record business. Make sure you get one on your. That's head. what the, the, that's. This is for like a metal record label. Again, I'll show you guys after, man. It's I don't know what the fuck it says, dude. <laughs> cool. It just says hello. 
Yeah, right. <laughs> Jeffrey Dom something. Why don't you tell him about Jeffrey that? Dom Selmo? Dom Selmo. Selmo. <laughs> <laughs> I spelled Jeffrey wrong too. <laughs> Oh, that geez. was an accident. That's, uh, Actually, it's... No, you just tell people it's on purpose. Hello yeah. Kitty. Yeah, right. <laughs> Is that a Hello Kitty duck? It's a... Uh, it's, it's a, a unicorn. unicorn. Unicorn duck. Where did you get these from? Because well, this is a Jeep thing, man. No, it's not. The no, ducks, no, it is. 100%. Oh, no. not, not with us. It's not, not with us. The ducks, well, the have ducks very... go back to their first drummer. Okay, we'll bring it on. Let's hear it. <laughs> Who's got the story? Did he do this for every picture? <laughs> no, he did no duck lips. <laughs> well, as you know, distilled through time, the story might change a little bit, but. What was happening was... I love lies. Well, I don't know if it's... <laughs> it, it's your life. Tell you how you want it. <laughs> well, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. It was We had like a Facebook uh, group going just for private band stuff. And, uh, you know, we discuss rehearsals, recordings, right, or we whatever. Have, we got one. Yeah. And um, our original drummer just had, you know, he was had some spelling issues and I kept correcting his spelling issues and he got mad about it. And it's then funny he, you say that. What, he lay a duck you on you? He was like, yeah. suck, <laughs> suck my duck. All, all <laughs> correct. <laughs> well, he was like, you're a duck and suck my duck. Like I kept auto-correcting him to duck. So I just kept bombarding him with with duck memes and i you know i thought it was all in good fun i was like oh this is just you know so you made him quit then basically no no it's it gets better <laughs> oh, it gets better. oh shit this is a good story it just yeah. you know like i'm like let me guess you come over and mowed your lawn no you jumped to the end too soon no well it's just like things were like proceeding with this you know ribbing like it started to, you know i was even texting him uh duck memes and it just, I thought I was just having a good time and he was having a good time with it, but apparently he not. He hated it. It, it was, he was getting really, you know, cherried about it. And I'm going to uh, fuck this guy up, man. And I didn't even know it. <laughs> oh, and, it was ruthless. And like, because, you know, I'm just, I like to have a good time. I'm just, right. you know, if you're playing rock and roll with a bunch of dudes, you're not making any fucking money. Yeah. You got to have fun. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. having fun, fun man. Yeah. Just yeah. having fun. But, That's you know, a choo-choo hat. Yeah, that's you know, choo choo hat. I'm having fun here. And uh, it just it got to the point where he was so <clears throat> mad. And it was also because, like, you know, I got a studio and I'm like, you know, I'm working a lot and he'd show up to rehearsal. I'm like, why don't you just use one of the drum kits I already got set up here? And he's refused to. And, you know, I was, I just kept bugging him about it. Just bring, you know, like use our stuff because like he'd have to bring this whole gigantic drum yeah, he, kit down and oh like Neil Pert size like just to rehearse yeah. set it up and then rip it down and boom. drag it out yeah which yeah. you know I guess is in hindsight was fine I thought I was doing him a favor but just the fact that I was asking him to use a different drum kit was did he feel insulted or insulted something, or? yeah oh, okay like, like he had, he's thin skinned apparently and and it got to the point where he's like it's it's him or me. Oh, and uh, well, yeah. he's well, not here. Uh... Guess what? We de they decided. Yeah. You... <laughs> hey, Rob, what Since are you doing? You're, now you're sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's actually exactly what happened. It's true. It's so, true. so then he walks in and says, like, hey, you're going to play this fucking kid. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> it was an ultimatum over ducks. I didn't give a and, shit. And I ultimately I had a talk with him. I was like, if I was driving you so nuts, why didn't you, you just say, say something? Yeah, say say something. something. Yeah, he didn't. He, he went, womaned you. It's like a girl. He went eight straight, months later. They're mad. And you're like, what are you mad about? He went straight to mom and dad. It was like, you know, kick him out or I'm out. They're oh, like, yep. well, exactly. bye. And that was exactly the text that I got from him. So I was like, okay. So it's you, you forgot. He went upstairs. And literally, I, I I literally got a hold of Rob, and within 15 minutes, Rob said, "Yeah, I'll do it." But and, and then he was like, "Oh well." I'm like, okay, well, if, if it's you or Paul, I hate to say it, DM, but we're going to go with Paul. <laughs> and he was like, betrayal. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I'm like, no. No, just know, playing, bro. Just playing. I'm like, no, you know, we're, <laughs> we already got somebody. We're all set. In 15 and minutes. <laughs> you know, it just, to, to fast forward, it's like all these damn ducks started showing up. Like, yeah. I'd, you know, there'd be a duck on my amp. I'm like, God damn ducks. And, Ow. um, and now my wife's in on it. Those are and, the two original ducks. Yeah, I these are over. the two originals. <laughs> she bit my thumb. <laughs> and now I riled like, her up politely. I get home and like I open the medicine cabinet to brush my teeth, and there's a fucking duck sitting there. <laughs> I, I I reach in the the twelve pack of pop and I pull out two oh, ducks. No. <laughs> they're they're everywhere. I've got a sea of ducks at home. How now. about the big one in Alpena? We didn't go see. I got a. <laughs> I opened my guitar fest. case yeah. the other day. Yeah. There was a duck. <laughs> 
<laughs> Do you see the one that was downtown? I, yes. I think it's by Kobo or some shit, whatever. Big ass fucking duck. Fucking huge, I wanted man. to get a band photo in front of it. You know what Oh, I mean? you should have, man. fucking awesome, you know? <laughs> where, where was it at downtown? I think it's somewhere by Heart Kobo, Plaza. Hart Plaza, yeah, you know, so, yeah, somewhere. The auto it show. The it was oh, gigantic, man. Yeah. I, like, I don't know in scale how big it was. It's the giant rubber duck. It looked like it was like 50 feet tall or some shit. I mean, I could be, I don't. No, Paul's going to come home and find it in his yeah, backyard was, one day. <laughs> <laughs> it like travels all over the country. Inflated. Does it? Yeah, it goes all these special events and stuff. I would ask him about your go, yeah, uh, I don't care. Truck. Yeah, pretty much. Anyways, now I've got a thing for ducks. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, the, the moral of the story is open your mouth and talk to people. Absolutely, dude. You know? I mean, you're all fucking adults, right? Well, well yeah. almost. Not, no, all not of us. everyone. Let's <laughs> <laughs> <Let's> go that <laughs> far. This, come on, man. I'm saying is, age, years, wit, whatever. That, that doesn't is, matter. This is a band, so you're always. Did, uh, did you ever send them Ernie singing Rubber Ducky? Oh, man. You know, perpetually <laughs> oh, 12 years old. <laughs> rubber <laughs> Ducky, you're doing. <laughs> no, I just, I didn't want to, like piss him off anymore because i felt kind of bad about it you know perpetually you still hit him up every once in a while like just hey <laughs> just seeing how you're yeah duck, but that's how most of us musicians are you get a running joke you just go with it uh uh-huh. right um, well you got to be able to take it, you keep you working on yeah the, that should never bother me you're either a you man know? or yeah. <laughs> you're you gotta a, twist you're the knife yeah. <laughs> or a man you can't guy. let that bullet wound heal <laughs> oh see what i did there man child right yeah because ultimately it boils down don't don't be a dishy no takey. If he sees this podcast, he's going to be like, I can't believe those guys spent one hour on me. <laughs> <laughs> this might be a two parter. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's just I think it's an interesting like story in a way, be- just because, you know, people can be so fucking weird and you don't know what's going on in their heads. And right. You know? It's no. comedy and tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> is that the next album uh, title? No, the next album is speak, uh, speak the next coming album. out soon. Soon, coming out probably next it's month. Is it this? Fall. It will not. That's, that's actually the first, the first one. one. That's, that's first bleeding one. out. Show our first album there, bleeding out there. You're not my mom, dude. I do what I want. I'll put it on. But the fine, whatever. Street. There you go. <laughs> yeah. And our new album is coming out. Probably, when? I would say in three weeks, four weeks. Where'd Paul's? you record that, Paul's? Yeah, Paul's. Mm-hmm. It's not going to sound good. No. You record both no, these kidding. at your own? Well, you mean it'll be done, but not like All right. physically. Shameless yeah, no, plug, we'll, we Paul. Physically Shameless plug. Shameless plug? Shameless the plug, vinyl? Paul. No, the vinyl Burn will shows. not be probably They're all talking January. over. That's what I kind of figured, yeah. Oh. The actual record won't be till the new year. The vinyl won't be, no. The yeah. vinyl, yeah. Vinyl. I thought vinyl's taking forever right now it's, or something. I is. got it in seven weeks. It's been taking forever. Is that a good for turnaround long. time? Or? Oh, hell yeah, it is. He had his records made in the Czech Republic, and they, they were pretty quick. No you got shit. any strains left? The strains ones, yeah. Yeah, I got a couple left. I got to get me one. Don't save me one. It's I a will. good record, man. It's solid. Oh, yeah, fuck yeah. That's yeah. a good album, man. I'm not going to buy one. Just drop one off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> free, hold on, free, man. Free. I got this for you. <laughs> <laughs> I got to fuck you right here for you. <laughs> well, the problem is to get them that quick, you can only get a limited run. Yeah. Like uh, you, if you order them, over, I'm going to do shameless plug for Atomic uh-huh. Disc. Like they they said it could take longer, but I had them within seven weeks. But you can only order 200. Right. If you try. And I was like, well, what if I order two times 200? What if I make two orders? I'm like, nope. The clock starts again. Really? Yeah. Like because, you know, it's and it was not. It's not cheap to order 200 records. No. Right. You know, you get the bulk discount. There's nothing local. Like, 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 what about like Third Man or some shit? Way out. Archer, way out. Like, yeah. Yeah, just like months, months. I wonder At why least, that is. Is like the popularity of vinyl just going through the roof? No, they're or? just having trouble getting the uh, the pellets, the blanks. Right. Yeah. And I mean, there's a ton of, you know, everybody puts vinyl band. out and, you know, you got to remember that. All those pressing machines that were in all the vinyl factories back in, you know, the 70s and 80s, they all got trapped. They did. That's true. They got scrapped, yeah. They did. Yeah, they got yep. turned into scrap, so... Yeah, this will never come back. Trying to <laughs> right, Lies. yeah, exactly. A lot of those plants were converted into CD places, too. Yeah. You know. They were owned by the record companies, yeah. probably. Yeah. So Bro. the machines themselves are actually, like, at a premium. Right. So we need a machine shop and start making some. Yeah, no shit, man. I mean, I would. Oh, guess. this is a hot plate in the press, right? 
Yeah, I would, I would guess. Well, you need the equipment to cut the lacquer and the and the you know the aluminum master. All, all you Amazon, need is you buy all that shit on Amazon. All you need is a <laughs> heat gun, well, a well, heat gun and a needle, and just make it right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I would guess is what probably you're, normally sixteen to twenty weeks. Yeah, you know, maybe. Unless you're paying the premium. It's almost like they got you by the balls, man. I love it. Well, there's the balls. Uh, there's this one label, right? <laughs> right. I like it. The balls. balls. Are we putting anything on vinyl or just CDs? You have out. not been listening. It's yeah. going to be on vinyl. Wake <laughs> up. Be on vinyl. He <laughs> smokes too many doobies. <laughs> Doobie do I. Or not enough. <laughs> you, you really don't have any choice these days. I mean, you really have to do vinyl. Because cassettes are big now. Yeah, the band last week said they're going to oh, put out like a, a, a cassette or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Don't even get me started. I sold a shit ton shit. of cassettes on the road. Yeah, it's amazing. They are bad. Yeah, why not? Fuck it. You could just see. I don't have a tape player, but just, what's what I'm saying? I was just gonna say you can see the used tape decks, like yeah. on eBay and stuff, how they've gone up because people now the demand and the I supply s- thing. I sell you know, quite a few of them. Right. A lot of them. I see yeah. them at a garage sale. Three bucks. I'll take that. See if it works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, you know, I think I, they I, have I, a cassette day, like flip record it for store 40 day. Bucks. No I, shit. I think they do. Yeah. Really. I can actually see the argument for people wanting vinyl just because of the simple fact that if you look at the package for a CD at least from an artistic standpoint CDs are really weak I mean you got this small package you've got you know you, you have to make this gigantic <laughs> book he said small package why are you pointing at me he said small package what a dick <laughs> that went right over my head now it's funny yeah. you know what I'm gonna send you a pic on my phone later don't it's, worry about it I got you Rob, yeah, it'll we go all right got we all got zoom head. on our fucking cameras bro <laughs> what a cock <laughs> carry on sir <laughs> <laughs> he forgot where he was. I can ruin a train of thought about like penis that. Now. <laughs> but as far as sound quality is concerned, a CD is going to be the best sound quality. No way. <laughs> yes. They say vinyl's the best. Bullshit. Yeah, I mean, I would think probably CDs today. Rod, today, you want to chime in? I would. I would say probably it, today because of the. There's two the, arguments on that. The One, quali- the quality of mastering has gotten so much better, especially over the last say 15 years, <laughs> that there really isn't much of an argument as whether CDs are the best quality. Now, it, what about the quality of older albums? Because they're so thick. It seems like you get a new album today. Well, you like get 180 grain or nice, man. The paper thin. Yeah. You know what I mean? Is that what you got? 180s. No, no. The, 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 the whole argument between yeah. <laughs> the whole argument between the last not, three you know, plays. What, what sounds better yeah. is it's how it's recorded. Like if you're like a, like Paul's right. Like a, a, a lot of these vinyl records that are coming out today are recorded digitally, and then they press them from a digital source. Oh, of course. So that's why they sound more. The records actually sound staticky. Like if you listen to some of these. Like ACDC represses, like the original Back in Black to the ones out now. The old one sounds better because it was analog, analog, you know, done properly. Yeah, yeah they went from they went from yeah. half inch master tape. Yeah, which that you want to talk about sound quality? Yeah, a half inch master is going to blow the shit out of, of out of a record and a CD, but you need a high quality yeah. half inch playback machine. You know, I've done tons of mastering to quarter inch. Quarter inch tape is going to sound good as well, especially if it's running at a, the fastest IPS. Yeah. Or the, yeah. you know, it's, but, you know, or ultimately the, the best sound quality you're going to get is just a straight up wave file yeah. from, that's mm-hmm. from the master. Yeah. Because it's, that's first generation. It's not being distilled to anything else. Yeah. And I would think 90% of your audience is going to be YouTube. Digital, you know, online, of course, whatever you're buying digital shit off Bandcamp, yeah. you know, shit like that, whatever. Yeah. The good thing about Bandcamp is you upload waves and people can download mm-hmm. waves, so they're actually getting the most pure yeah. form, yeah. right? So goes, is that a bigger file than an MP3? Oh hell oh, yeah! Oh yeah, yeah, it's uncompressed. It's like ten times the size, right? Yep. Way bigger. Yeah. Hey Rob, how about a shameless plug for your record store? You got a record you, store? You got a record no. store? <laughs> no, it's not a store. It's a, it's a store on eBay. But do it. Come on. What? 
<laughs> oh, you're saying promoted. <laughs> yeah, well, what's the... <laughs> your shameless plug. Shameless plug. Shameless plug time. Oh, I yeah, sold most of my shit. I, yeah, that's what I sell. <laughs> to, I, I sell to what? used <laughs> records pretty much on eBay. I list weekly. I'm pretty close to wanting to do this full time, you know, but it's like I work a 55-hour... A week job the guy from uh, boring but i really Scott uh, from hair queen does that shit too yeah man. yeah it's does like he? Old, yeah yeah I, actually you know i'm pulling like ten thousand dollars a year just listing once a week tell that to i the mean audience. that's how much why would you not do it full time yeah, that's what i'm saying if i did it full seven time, or eight grand in the last eight months yeah i mean it's like the market's huge dude it really is it's, yeah. it's bigger than what people think i mean the physical format and the record thing is pretty big i just scored a uh some girls with lucille ball and yeah Marilyn Monroe, the original ones, with before they yeah they they took before they the, got sued and had to mm -hmm. take it down. Yeah, Farrah right. Fawcett was removed, all of them. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But Rob's good on them albums. Like I said, I had an old Slayer album, and I was like, hey, is this the you have a signed you have a signed promo copy, man, <laughs> and it's a tan <laughs> label. He get about five hundred dollars for that, man. <laughs> so Rob, yeah, I sold a depending on good, the condition. Man. I sold a live knows, on dead picture disc for like eighty bucks. You know, and then the cardboard for it was just fucked. Yeah. Some of the old original Metallica stuff and all, all that, the eighties metal all shits all going stuff. for money. Yep. Dude, I'm telling you, man, anything. Hollow's Eve, all nothing, that stuff. Nothing beats the yellow goat. <laughs> ah, the battery yellow goat. Bah. You know, that sucks. I say that story all the time, man. I was in the store off the record years ago and I saw the yellow goat. We're talking the first battery album. And the I white no goat. I have no talking. clue what he's talking just, about. I said to myself, it's heavy metal shit. Oh. Yeah, the yellow one looks like shit, man. It looks lame. The black and white one just looks cooler, you know? So I bought the black and white one. Years later, mine's worth $300 and his is worth $3,000. <laughs> oh, no shit. <laughs> yeah. Are you still hold on to that's it? That's a band I haven't heard from in a long time. Still hold on to it? It's nuts. Huh? You still hold on to that record? Oh, fuck yeah. I think he I sealed saw that it. Bitch in a second. <laughs> I think he sealed it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd buy like a 1984 Ford Escort or some shit with that yeah, thing. Or it's, something. It's, it's sealed. It's sealed. Yeah, sabotage is sealed too. Yeah. I'd buy me a Gremlin X. So, Gremlins uh, are great the cars. Stick, man. Fucking, they're awesome. That's so, what uh, I had growing up. What they have like a 302 or 30 slant six? No, they made one with a V8 too. The Gremlin X. Oh, the Gremlin X. No, the, oh yeah, the a, Gremlin. I remember that. Yeah. 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 When yeah. was the last time you actually saw a Gremlin on the road? Now there's one in Marine City. It's fucking cherry, man. Really? Yeah. yeah. We had a I green one, one in the forever. 70s when we were kids. This one's yeah. red. My buddy's sister had a purple Metal flake one. red. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's... They yeah, were, my Uncle Jim had a purple one. Yeah, yeah. the purple. Yep. Yeah. They were almost like a like the Pinto sort of, but more square <laughs> yeah, in the back. Yeah, I remember that uh, car. Yeah. Like Shameless the, plug. The pacer. Uh, all right. So anyways, we're talking about albums. Back to the new album. What's it called? Uh, we got 12 Graced. songs coming out. and uh, The album is called Grazed. Colonel, Bill, why don't you tell a bit How many songs are on this album? From you, Bill? 12. 12. Nice. What do you want me to say? What do you think of the new album? <laughs> <laughs> I, I want you to say whatever I tell you to say. <laughs> oh, you, want to talk about, you want to talk about the songs, we, that's fine. We don't want, talk about the artwork to me. We want Bill's talk about opinion. where you recorded that's it. Good, well, there's, there's no artwork on here, sir. I'll say this about the new album. Oh, that's just awful. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Turn his fucking mic off right now. Sorry. He <laughs> talks too much anyway. Sorry, not sorry. I'll say this about the new album. That one, Paul had come into the band after we already had another lead guitar player. So that sounds more like the original Bullet Wound, and this new album is more us. Us is this is this all you guys. playing guitar on this one or I was playing yeah. on the last one too. Last but, one okay, too. Yeah, but I, I wasn't around for the yeah. I wasn't around for the song development uh, on the first one. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. But this is recorded at your place too. Me, yes, sir. Me and Bill wrote all the songs on the first album, and we uh, Paul I think wrote a couple of the uh, riffs on the second no, album. Yeah. So but it's we, got a little we bit of developed this Paul's in this current in. lineup, the second album. So yeah, it, it sounds more true to what you guys heard tonight, right? Yeah, yeah. I think it makes a big difference. That's a little more hardcore. It does. What the hell is that tune? The Indian something song? Ambient. Ambient I, th I thought it was Indian. My bad. <laughs> is it that's about that, sleepwalking? That, that's when you start with the bass, right? Yeah. yeah. I dude, love that, that thing song. Is badass, yeah, that's a good, that's my favorite tune. I, I dig that, that a lot, man. I've heard stories of people taking Ambien, wake up, and they made a whole Thanksgiving dinner, dude. Don't remember doing none of it. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'd like to give my wife some Ambien right now so I get Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, some chick. I'm used, down with some turkey, yo. Some yo, chick used to call me up and she'd pop in, Ambien, and I'd go over there and and she'd never remember it. What? Put on a wristwatch? <laughs> Probably better that. It way. ain't my baby. 
<laughs> but she would tell me like, I just, I just took an Ambien, so like, how's this your beer? might not no. work out. <laughs> okay. Want to sneak away? I'll sneak away. All right. When he's gone, can we talk bad about him? We'll take a break. Yeah, we'll take, we're, take, we're, take a break and play some bullet wound. Me a bunch of times, but I'm an original member, so they can't. Well. <laughs> Holy shit. And we're back. Yay. So you guys lost a member. Yeah. So we we've just played you the get, ambient march. We've been trying to get rid of him forever. We right have now. been. He's nicknamed the weakest link, unfortunately. <laughs> 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 you are the we weakest link. You're fired. We don't call him Eric W. Link for nothing. <laughs> Eric, 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 one thing I will give him credit for, he takes constructive criticism very well. Constructive? It's destructive. Destructive. <laughs> Paul beat me to it. I was being nice. Yeah. Like I said, they can't fire me. I'm an original member. I love that rule. I've never heard that before, but that's a good one. That's the rock and roll rule. Okay? <laughs> Sounds like Unri a union thing. Unri yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know what's going to happen tomorrow? He's fucking gone. Yeah. <laughs> they can't fire Fired. me. No. They, they've tried. They well, can't. They can't. <laughs> They'll just change the name to Bullet Wound tomorrow he's, or some he's, shit. <laughs> he's going to be texting. Are we still a band? Hey. Hey. <laughs> who writes them heavy wrists? Huh? Who loves them stoner wrists? 
<laughs> it's not me. <laughs> we also have another nickname for it. It's acid laugh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Listen goes. to that laugh, dude. There it goes. <laughs> That's the weed, man. <laughs> it's the weed, man. Acid, acid laugh. He took a trip and never that's, came back. That's going to be our stoner rock alternative band. You need to write a song, acid laugh. <laughs> the, the yeah. Funny, we almost named the album acid laugh. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> we did. The funny thing is. So why'd you change it? Eric doesn't have any idea that if it wasn't so goddamn hard for us to find people to play with, <laughs> he'd have been fired a long time ago. <laughs> and, 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 you know, I've known Bill and Ken since high school. So yeah. I've known them for like 30 years. <laughs> no, and he 35 years. We've known each other. So yeah. we go back to high school. <laughs> but see, that don't matter. Cause How long have you known these cats? <laughs> Me? Yeah. A couple of years. It's just an import. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't you know, I'm not from here. I I know that. Yeah. So it's been in Deutschland. How did how did you end up in Detroit? The wife? The 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 missus, yes. Germany kicked them out. They got tired of them. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's it, it wasn't like that. Take my what, wife's Richard name Breyer's out of your song? mouth. Pussy make a man crazy. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Take my wife's name out your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your goddamn hands off my wife. Oh that one, yeah. <laughs> I, was, you know, I got to put that drop in there. Well, you do, because you know, motherfuckers always. Didn't you make a sticker them. with that on there too, or something? Oh, I made a button with it on yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, it was a running <laughs> joke for weeks. Yeah, <laughs> I got another one. Like it's all like a tip of the hat to raising Arizona. Yeah, you know. Did you see like the thing Mama I made with the me. with the goofy Bigfoot? Did you ever show you that? Oh one? yeah, that's, that's good pretty shit. good too. Yeah. <clears throat> So, Rich, you asked me about the title. Yes. Yeah, we, we kind of are sticking with the, like, Air came up with the title for the first album, Bleeding Out. Thought it was perfect. It for is a band cool. called Bullet Wound. Yeah. Absolutely. Perfect. Very fitting. And we were struggling with a new title for a new album, so I came up with Grazed. <laughs> so we kind of went with Grazed. When you see the cover, it'll make more sense Hot, to Yeah, it. I'm like, yeah. like, how's that tie it's in? It's a secret. It's well, a like secret. when you get grazed by a bullet, for yeah, example. Yeah, grazed, oh, bullet okay. wound, Nick. the bleeding out. Grazed, yeah. you know. Yeah. Okay. But so, there's a little twist in the, uh, the there's new There's a theme album here. I think Headshot is better. Ooh. <laughs> but, well, Third album, Headshot. That'll Headshot. be the EP. Uh, Headshot. Hey, one of my favorite band names was taken when I thought I had thought of it, but it was Headshot Quartet, you know. But shout out to them. But that's a that's taken? excellent name. Headshot yes. What? Oh, my God. Quartet. I Imagine know, them looking at that one. I'd be like, fuck. Who would think that that would be taken? Dude, it, it is. I thought of it one day, and Headshot I fucking punched quartet. it up on the internet. And I was like, no. Well, guess what? You thought of nothing, sir. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you are unoriginal. That's crazy, dude. That is crazy. It is, but that's a good. Great and that's name. why you're gonna yeah. be fired but, soon. Yeah, I think I think we did come up with some pretty good uh, some pretty good album titles. You know what I mean? The next one, Grazed, coming out pretty soon. What do we? Uh, what uh, by Christmas? Put it in your stocking. Can you put Thanks, it in your stocking, yeah, Colonel? Be, yeah, definitely. Okay. It's I got the bootleg from the stocking, band. Yeah, stocking. it's it's going to be a stocking album. stuffer, so uh, make sure you buy it up. Oh, okay? he, brought, he brought you the That's album. That's my shameless plug. Ooh. No, the other one. Yeah. More <laughs> shameless <laughs> plug. Yeah. Oh, sweet. You guys get to hear it in advance. Hell yeah. It's awesome, man. We're, like we're, the, we recorded at Paul's. It's probably pretty good. We're actually, yeah, actually going to start a it, YouTube it channel and just, good, just totally rip you guys shit off. Burning Ear <laughs> Studios. I need to pick his brain. Yeah, Burning Ear Studios. Well, I tried. It in he won't Michigan. give up shit, dude. What, yeah, do you, he will. What, what do you need? I said I need to pick your brain. Yeah. I gave him all kinds of tips. Mm, full of shit. That's yeah, the a, tip of his dick. <laughs> <He's>, dude, <laughs> I was texting him all kinds of tips. I just want to see how it feels. I can't believe just he's tell, saying that I'm withholding I I information. Like I'm just playing, dude. Because I'm as <laughs> forthcoming as they are. When I came over your house, I think it was a year, whatever, whenever I, uh, COVID time. Maybe he was in a mood. I'm like, I'm like looking over his shoulder. Like, What's he, doing he keeps over there, scooting man? over. Oh, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, I didn't do that. I don't even think he uses the no, same no, program I was. So, like, I was, I'm trying to like, cause you use that Harrison mix spots, right? Yeah. Yeah. And which I'm completely unfamiliar with. But you got a beautiful set out there, man. Yeah, there's a cool you got one. A fucking badass thing going on there. Well, thank you so much. Burning Ear Studios. That's right. The best rates in town. I go in his basement. I'm like, I want that. Hey, I want awesome. that. I want that. <laughs> it's all about money, man. Did you get rid of any of them tubes? Uh, no, I hoard them. Do you? <laughs> yes. I yeah. must have brought a thousand of them over there. Oh yeah, I got so, a lot of them. So if this band thing doesn't work out, have you guys like thought about doing like a tag team championship for the WWE or something like that, or yeah, <laughs> with the big beers and shit? Yeah, oh yeah. 
These no, two guys. Because we're old and we hurt every time we fucking move. <laughs> yeah. I can't get in the ring. Fuck. <laughs> Wait, my oh, hip's out again. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Have, Here's you, what looked, it, have you looked at me? Do I yeah. look like I'm in any kind of shape? Oh, I can see you on the top rope. Like super fly. Hey, no, no, no. Round is a shape. Remember the turtle on the back? <laughs> remember he felt like a turtle on the That's back right. of his shell? That was beautiful. No, well, here's, he what, was, I'm like, here's what would happen if, if Colonel was, <laughs> was a wrestler. He'd come right in the ring. Oh. And he'd have his bifocals on. He'd look over him, and he'd be standing in the corner, <laughs> <laughs> looking, looking at Facebook and True. grunting, grunting. <laughs> and the the opponent would just come and obliterate him within seconds. So he'd just he give up. He'd just him. give up. And the the or the opponent would hit him, and Colonel would be like, "What?" What? Why are you hitting me, man? <laughs> I do nothing to you. I think it was you that messaged our podcast page, right? Yeah. And as soon as I saw your name pop up, I fucking started laughing my ass. Colonel Sanders, like, really? <laughs> it was fucking awesome, man. Colonel Slanders. Oh, Slanders? Yeah. Wow. Oh, I read it wrong. Yeah. My, I'm sorry. Yeah, just like, just like I read the circus wrong. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Colonel Slanders. That's another one of those subtle jokes that we like to do. Yeah? It's just a play on my last name. So do you have a bullet well, wound? What's your last name, Sanders? Page? Landers. Landers? Yeah. I'm going to need a logo. <laughs> Show Something I can P and G and take the background out of it. Use right a, right use a bucket CD. of chicken. Bucket of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> right on the CD. That's the logo. The first one. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's weird. Or the sticker. Oh, the, the sticker, sticker in there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the, yeah. That, that's the uh, font. Where's yep. the sticker? That's the logo. Oh, sweet. That's cool. CD. I already put one on the table, so save. Oh, well, somebody there's... already put one I, on the table. Damn, I wasted one. Damn it. No one wore That's an all wound shirt. <laughs> I, oh, it, I should also. You guys are horrible at promoting yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel, did you bring That's any shirts? <laughs> I actually did bring some shirts. Why you don't sh- you give them a usually shirt? Usually every band is terrible. If, do you have themselves. a 2X? You guys are huge. Yeah, so you make 2Xs, right? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, man. yeah I'm, I'm I think that three I always X's. make plenty of 2Xs. 3Xs, I always get half of them out. Yeah, I would love a shirt if you got a shirt. Yeah, I got I got some up on the truck. I'm always uh, down for some swag. Well. Yeah. We'll, get you a, we'll get you a shirt during the break. <laughs> There's a sheet. Well, I've even got to the point now where I take and I hang them up. I've got my local Detroit shirt collection. I think I'm wearing uh, all the slot rods. Yeah, there you go. Cool. You ever listen to them? You ever check them out? No. No. Oh, dude, they do the surf thing really well. It's like yeah. surf punk. I've not I, heard of them. I think one what of the guys, in like, in, uh, he's in the amino acids. Yeah. Oh, oh that's that makes cool. sense. They're good. They're fucking wild. Yeah. Yeah, we did a show with them and Elvis Hitler. Who else was there? Lords uh, of the Highway. Yeah. That small. What? Well, how do you do? You like Lords of the Highway? Did you enjoy that? Yes. I I enjoy them guys a lot. Yeah, they're fucking cool as fuck. Cool people too. Yeah. yeah. Better than Australians yeah. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no I'm kidding. That was an all around fun night. I had a good time. Yeah, me too. Our set was a little shaky, but it was very shaky. That's why we're looking for a drummer. Does he know this? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, we told him. Yeah. I feel bad because I've known the guy my whole life. Is he angry? No. Didn't seem to care. I think he's seen the writing on the wall, maybe. That explains a lot. You know, that kind of sucks because we had to do that with our last band. Speaking of which, what's your old drummer up to? Oh, he's looking for a drum. <laughs> oh, he's got a new band going. He's got a new band going. Oh, does he? Gonna, I was going to say, when he gets stuff. here, we'll put a big duck on the wall. Yeah, Don't do I, it. I forget what the name of the band is. <laughs> He'll go postal, man. <laughs> yeah, that would be a breakdown. <laughs> So he, that fucking Paul. Uh, he also thought uh, I was a shitty guitar. I think I can handle him, probably. <laughs> he also thought I was a shitty guitar player as well. That was really. Yeah, that was a really. Uh, You're actually a good guitar player. You're just a shitty. I call person. bullshit. You're <laughs> mediocre. <laughs> I, I'll drink yeah, to that. It was, ex- it was a joke. Dude. I excel at being mediocre. <laughs> I call bullshit, man. You're mediocre all the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I'm good or great. Even I just think I could, you know, fake it pretty well. Yeah. Got rhythm. It's all about attitude. you actually have good feeling in, in in your the way you play uh guitar, dude. It's yeah, attitude and having fun. That's what it's all fucking about. Yep. Yeah, I'm starting to pick up the Paul thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got a thing. Yeah. I got a thing. Everybody, you know. Yeah, it's called herpes. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I tell every girl. Welcome to herpes. <laughs> that one's gonna be on your lip. You were there a while. <laughs> Suck <laughs> one. No, never mind. <laughs> I'm about to start Gutter peeling swamp. these stickers off your table. Out of Why? Just, Don't do that. Why would I'm, you do I'm that? I'm nervous. Nervous about what? what? You're yeah. nervous? <laughs> I'm nervous because there's 
the edge is sticking up. It makes me want to remove it. I got OCD. Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus. Yes. Oh, is that the I Love Dickhead sticker? Yes. That's that's Dick Hickey, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Dick they hit Hickey. me up yesterday. They want to come back. That band is badass. You ever listen to it? Yeah, they're fucking cool. No. Dick you Hickey's sh- good. You should. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they, did a, they did a show here? Yeah. yeah. I'll have to watch it. I'll yeah, listen we, to We it. played yeah. a couple shows yeah, with them. Yeah, they're cool, man. Yeah, they're cool guys, man. Port Huron dudes. Oh, okay. The very first time we put this green screen up, this motherfucker wears an all green fucking yeah, shirt. Yeah, Paulie showed up. Oh, he's floating. Uh, no, it, it, he's just a head. <laughs> he was just a head. <laughs> just embodied the edge. That's hilarious. And then, you know, chicks come on. We got green hair. That all gets fucking washed out. Oh, you know, my God. That's funny. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> so what's well, This will be your least viewed one, just to let you guys know. No, it won't. <laughs> what's that? This will be your, your least, least viewed, viewed video. <laughs> video. I thought the strains were going to do better than they did. Yeah, well. Yeah, I don't think we you have that. It's okay. You can you guys can general. give it all to me. The we had one band and then we got like twelve hundred views in like five hours. We're like, what in the fuck happened? Wow. Yeah, yeah somebody hacked something. I was like, yeah. oh man, it's gonna take <laughs> off. No, no, <laughs> died. <laughs> hey. Well, you got bullet wound now, so <laughs> this should be true. Yeah. 12, is that what that is? I thought it was my butthole. Which that in twelve <laughs> views, twelve, <laughs> twelve views. Come on, motherfuckers! Hey, twelve of those would be me. And eleven, ah! eleven let's, dislikes. Let's go fucking crazy or something, fucking! You get some views. There was YouTube one, don't let you see the dislikes anymore. TikTok. There was one band, fucking uh, uh, Harry Queen, fucking this person like trolls, fucking uh, uh, Todd the singer. And apparently, fucking, they just dislike every fucking video. We scroll through, like, yep, dislike, dislike, dislike. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I know, man. You get some sour fucking people. Who cares, man? I, I know. know I, we got bullshit. our first nasty when the guy's like, uh, who filmed this? Somebody with Tourette's or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> when was this? Yeah, it's. Remember I say, I got, we got our first negative comment. Oh, I don't remember. You guys remember how much better the world was before the internet? Hell yeah. No. Before God, cell phones. The it's fucking boring. 80s, <laughs> the early 90s. Uh, yeah, remember, you do you remember Be Home Before <laughs> Dark was the bomb right. when you were yeah. a kid? Yeah. yeah. Don't go down this rabbit hole, guys. Me yeah. member. Be home with the street. <laughs> yeah, the street lights come on. Member yeah. berries. <laughs> member berries, yeah. <laughs> member? I'm just saying, like, I, I was watching an old video from the Greystone the other day, and I'm like, wow, man, that's awesome, because everyone's there organically. Right. right. Yeah, the there's old back that, porch, the old back no, porch videos, the exactly. guys from Dearborn yeah, yeah. and stuff. There's I, no I used, internet back in those days. There's nobody knew each other. You just showed up. You fucking had a good exactly. time. Exactly. The only there's chance, no attitude, no judgment. No. Nope. But you would think with the internet, like you reach such a huge audience, that you can get like hundreds of fucking people at your shows. Nope. Nope. They don't leave the it, fucking house. Man. That's that's what it is. Yeah, I was yeah, just gonna right, say man. they don't leave the house. No. Well, yeah. that's part of the reason we're we doing this. You know, the bands have another outlet to get their shit out there yeah. you know it's we're starting to pick up the numbers are getting bigger and bigger so eventually you know you guys come back in two years and you well, know, no, two years, years. half a million people might two years see we you. won't even talk yeah, to you know what i mean yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. so huge man we won't talk to these guys we'll be fucking gigantic oh, fuck yeah that. dude i will <laughs> you guys are taking over riff right after yeah. dave and chuck <laughs> oh absolutely <laughs> And any band, I know I'm funnier than them motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I think what everyone think what what Detroit needs is like a like a couple of old school concerts where we get like all the old bands together. You know what I mean? And do like some stuff. We want to do a uh, Detroit State of Mind festival. Do like you know, like maybe at the Diesel or get something. Like, that's cool. All the new bands cool. from all the old yeah. people. You know, get all the new bands from idea. all the old people. It is a good and idea. do a fucking big jam. It's a very, very good idea. Take donations at the you door. We'll pick I mean? like a Instruments for Kids or some kind of music for kids, you know, yeah. and we'll yeah. donate the money. We've yeah. tried to do that a couple times. we got like Ugly, Pro- Ugly But Proud. And what's, uh, uh, what's his name? Rick Beer's fucking uh, band. Uh, Rick Blas- Beard's band? Blasphemous? Blasphemous. Blasphemous. Yeah, so we did like Gore, Blasphemous, and Ugly But How about we get the guy that was from Heresy a, a and stuff? A reunion of you know old school I mean? fucking, fucking bands, man. It was, it was exactly. a lot of fun, but not many people showed up. What else is new? That sucks, dude. Yeah. That's yeah. fucking I think bad. the Diesel, though, we could draw. If we get the right bands. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think, I nice think place. One, one big festival, like, an, uh, like a whole day thing somewhere, would be pretty Yeah, I mean, I'm talking like 15 I mean. bands, 20 exactly. bands. I just all old See if the bands. Diesel let us use both I mean, stages. There's, there's a lot There's a lot to the no showing, though. It's not just the, the scene and the bands. It's got, you can't smoke in the bars. The cops are everywhere for drinking. There, yeah. Everything's done at new, yeah. midnight now, not 2 a.m. It's different. Oh, the you whole mean, entire demographics have changed. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. everyone's just like, fuck it, man. I ain't going. 
phone and I'll stay really home. Never. You know, Our, I can, I can watch yeah. it on the phone. I watch the cell phone Our video or some yeah. asshole fucking post. It's just Our the way it is now, man. That's how I watch the Iron Maiden concert. I watch that. Yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> you back, you know, our nights didn't start till midnight. You know what I mean? Yeah. I remember not leaving yeah. my house till me 10, remember. 11 o'clock. <laughs> to see the headlining band. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Remember yeah. berries. Yeah. But, but, you know what I mean? I don't know. It's, uh, w- there needs to be some kind I'm of I'm in bed by you know? fucking midnight now, awesome. <laughs> I know. I think that would be fucking awesome. You know? I'll drink my herbal tea and crash out. Well, it's like you well, said hey, 10 minutes ago. Can, we're old and we hurt. If you have it, if all day thing... If the older fuckers need to crash out, then they can come early in the day and catch the bands that are like the one and three and then go home and pass out. Yeah. Just have matinees. Or yeah. have, a, yeah. little, have, a, have a little nap have, area. Have it start at uh, one. Know, how, how about a little nap hey, area? How about, sh- how about you shut up? Have a murder she wrote marathon in the middle. What do they call that when old people go to dinner early? What is that called? Early bird, early, early bird, early bird special. <laughs> no, early bird special. I've got a better suggestion. Bands like us should just go fucking play at Golden Corral. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> at noon. Set up in the parking lot of the nursing home. In bed yeah. by seven. Done. What? That late? That's that's the next bank shifter record. A nursing home. <laughs> in bed by, bed by seven. <laughs> Hey, he's on to something. A nursing home That's tour. That's coming, man. Yeah. Don't rush it. It's coming. Watching him try to fit through that space was really fun. It, it's magical. <laughs> Lay off the bread, bro. He's a. Hey, he succeeded. That guy probably takes That's a whole loaf problem. of Wonder That's Bread and squishes it from. into a ball and eats the it. The rips naturally come. They just naturally come. Bread, man. I love. Oh, me too, man. It's bad. How the fuck do we not know this guy's already? <laughs> he like bread in the hot dog bun fashion. Oh, yeah. We, we, we could all hang, I think. I think we'd have a good hang. Any kind of bread. Yeah. Loaf, loaf, bun, you name it. Man. He's big on yeast. <laughs> yep. how, many, how many infections have you had? How many what? Yeast, yeast infections. 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 Actually, I got one between my toes right oh, now. Oh, that's <laughs> that's the smell. I'm sorry, bro. As if you needed another reason to hate bullet wounds. Pep- the curl is an Andrew Dice Clay. Cut, cut. Andrew Dice Clay. She got one of them bread things going on. It under half yeah. hour. I'm full. The colonel's just glad he's reached menopause. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pepperidge Farms remembers. Yep. <laughs> Remember berries? Colonel Parma- Parmesan. He was really something before electricity, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on the insults, we're going to take a break and play some Kenjamin Bullet Wound.
I'm the natty guy. And I'm Luke Paul. And I'm Zarch. And what are you guys listening to? Detroit, Detroit State, State of, of Mind. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah! No, no. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Hooray. Everyone have a good pee? Right. Well, I might as well just leave that because that's a good conversation. You got even less to talk about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was. Oh, you think so? <laughs> Anybody in a hurry? Why? Just getting a grip on time. Who cares? Fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got places to be too. You'll be okay. No, I won't. Yeah, but dude, that's cool, man. I dropped a needle on that stress-related record years ago because there was a there was a small shop. Ken probably remembers. Remember Snake Pit on Nine Mile oh, and yeah. Van Dyke? The oh, Snake Pit. Yeah. That old man used to carry like the coolest records. I mean, he had like a milk crate. But it was like 50 of nothing but quality. There wasn't filler there. It was like the first Nirvana Blue and then this EP. And, this, you know, when, when Sub Pop was in its infant stages, all these cool. And that was one of them in there. I'm like, oh, this looks really cool. I brought him home. I was just like, oh, my fucking God, these guys yeah. are awesome. Righteous Pig's great. Righteous Pig's all. It was all Blast Beat shit. It was, man. Yeah. And it was. I like aggression. Turmoil. <laughs> I like aggressive music. Yeah. I think our music is pretty aggressive. I think our fucking... What, what, what's you guys' influence? You know? what, well, you already know what twists your tit. How about you? Twists <laughs> <laughs> <Everything. laughs> You name it. I, yeah. I, I, like, <laughs> I like everything from fucking Vader, Silks of Distortion, to fucking uh, Visage. <laughs> <laughs> Vagine. Social D is the best band ever. There ain't no Black Sabbath, though. No. Yeah, they're better. Hey. Black Satin. <laughs> Greatest band ever walked the, the planet. Oh, you know Social I mean? Distortion is you the best know. band to walk the planet. Yeah. I'm glad you finally yeah. came around you, on this you, one. No, I'm not coming around. I, I think you can hear like a lot of stuff in our riffs. There Everything Dylan. from fucking Black oh, Satin. Here we go. Yeah, he's got the same damn <laughs> tattoos. You know I just I mean? noticed that. You got one on your hand. <laughs> oh, they'll be docking later. That was the last tattoo I got. Wonder Twin Powers, activate. 1992. That was the last tattoo I got. Like form of a douchebag. They turned into Social Distortion. I I haven't got one since, but I did all color if anyone's uh, got uh, wants uh, some free, uh, you know. You kind of look like Johnny Two Bags, actually, from Social D. Two Bags? Yeah, what, that's whatever his fucking name is. I thought I said is. tea bags. Like I said, we're hey, doink, 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 doink. It's I'll actually be- my <laughs> tea bag. <laughs> I'll be around to pick you up later. That's my Mr. Microphone fucking. <laughs> I remember Mr. Microphone. <laughs> Look at Paul try to text with one finger. He's like, I I don't know. <laughs> get, Fuck Max, 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 Max. No, he's texting the wife like, saying, uh, "Call me, I've got to leave." I uh, gotta get uh, the fuck uh, out duh, of here. Duh, be my excuse. <laughs> get me duh, the duh, fuck duh, out of here. Yeah, duh, duh. <laughs> he's getting really ducky over here, mother ducker. <laughs> Fuck ducker. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> Greasy Carlisa's oh, calling. Oh, oh, put him on speakerphone. Yeah, put, yeah, put, put, him, put him on. Put, put him on speaker. Put, put, right, put he's Greasy on, on. Greasy, what's up? Bit of elbow grease, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a podcast. I'm, I'm putting you on the podcast. What do you got to say to the Smart. world, Greasy? It's Hello, alive. Greasy. See that bike? Yeah, I saw that bike. I gave Br- Greasy a banana seat bike today, and he already shined it up real nice. Nice. <laughs> is it a Schwinn? No, it's not. What is it, Greasy? It's an all pro. What? An all pro. A Sears, pro. A Sears that, like, that Spider. A, ooh, a Sears. That, that was a Kmart. Bike. Kmart was all pro. Yeah, all pro. Guys, you're, you're talking over greasy. What, 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 what are you saying? <laughs> Jim Edwards gave me another bike. Oh, really? So you've got two no. new bikes today. Yeah, on top of the 25 I already have. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that when I was loading into the podcast, some guy was walking two dogs and he goes, Hey, wait a minute. Do you know Greasy Carlisi? I was like, yeah, I just gave yeah. him a bike. I, he was like, I bet his wife's not happy about that. <laughs> that was fucking hilarious. It's like, out of fucking nowhere, this guy's walking his dogs. He's walking by and he says, hey, do you guys know a guy named Greasy? What yeah. the, are you serious about that? Yeah. yeah. That's I thought he was random. joking. You no. That's random. When was that? We're over in St. Clair Shores, but Today? Wow. Oh. That's rare. Uh, we're, we're next to his and, niece's you know, house. <laughs> and another guy drove around the corner when me and Kirk Colonel were oh, standing yeah. there and was going, yeah. All right, yeah. but anyway, Greasy. These, What's these, up? Does everyone in the neighborhood know this place? These guys have the ability to, to not give anyone else any room to talk. It's one of their special powers. So I'm going to let you go. I'll call you back, bud. I got nothing to say anyway. All right. 
Bye, Chris. Bye. I got nothing to say. That's one of their special powers. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you guys just. Paul's you, offended it. We were, were cl- including it, it, the we whole sh- story. <laughs> <laughs> You you don't even know how to talk in a microphone, even though you've been <laughs> oh, in the music God. business for how many years? Forty. Uh oh. <laughs> Doesn't yeah, understand yeah, the physics of yeah. a microphone. I am singer. Math is hard. Wow. I never thought you'd have a band break up on your podcast, huh? I know. Got to break up right after. <laughs> two two bands that broke up right after. Yeah. 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 Really, yeah. really. And the two other yeah. ones got record deals. Remember what? <laughs> so we are fucking huge. Hey. And a curse. Remember yes. what they said. They can't kick me out. I'm an original member. Well, <laughs> if you keep winking at me like that, you're going to be out of the band like before this is done. Oh, <laughs> you keep winking at me like he's going to show you his member. <laughs> Social D, bro. <laughs> yeah. I've seen that uh, fucking picture on the wall. Social D. He's got a bond already. So what are you going to throw up on this green screen behind us? Is that titties. What, d- Two dogs titties? fucking. No, yeah. uh, we, we, we need, like, like, you know what I mean? Two A dogs. big mouth eating corn on the cob. <laughs> <laughs> that, dude, that dude with an Where do you drill. find that? He goes, Zing! <laughs> and it pulls his front teeth out. You see that? Oh. He puts a corn cob on a drill. Like he's going to peel it off. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Bing, his fucking oh, teeth go flat. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's oh going to end well. <laughs> Dumbass. Deserves it. That would be a good background. I don't know. What do you guys want on her? The corn cob guy. <laughs> <laughs> right above your head where his teeth just fly over Paul's head over and over again. Oh, if you if you like 3D that shit, just teeth just flying onto the table. Yeah. That'd be fucking tight. Maybe you cool. make that happen. Yeah. So we're not going to do the duck Let's thing. See. We'll see. It. Or ducks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, there's got to be like an hour long thing of like when they dump all the ducks in the river and have a race. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have have on the back. Are we doing the, the ducky thing? Game? Wait, what? Who? What? Wait, what? Who, Car- what, what? Carnival game? The child's game. The ducks. Yeah, lucky around. ducks. You, you pick it up. Is it your lucky number? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you could even put real ducks up there. You could do that. You could do that. Yeah, and then, splashing in a pond or something. And, then, ha- and yeah. then halfway through, you know, switch over to like some Ducks Unlimited video. Or a duck hunt from yeah, Nintendo. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you could use that or Ducks Actually, Unlimited Actually, Duck Hunt Loop would up. be fucking hilarious, dude. Doesn't it like a little dog pop up every yeah. once in a while or some shit? We'd probably get fucking copyright strike for it, though. <laughs> Not if there's no audio. True. <laughs> there you go. No. Problem solved. So, do you guys have any uh, questions? No, we don't do that thing here. We just bullshit. We are oh, so on We just bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> we'll talk about anything. That's how you do interviews. Why? Is there something you want to say? No. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to talk about some other band maybe going on tour somewhere well, or something? About, like, uh, like, like, what's going on here? How about we we'll talk about no. the new album coming out? And let's do that. All right. Let's so, do that. Let's, uh, so, we got a new album coming out, and we'll probably uh, be having an album release party pretty soon. Uh, Where at? Anything booked or no idea? We, no idea yet, but we're we're looking to put that in the works for our. Uh, Rich Eric says we're probably. Party. He means hopefully Ken sent something up. Yes, yes. Well, <laughs> you Ken, the man for that? Ken's the leader. Ken, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, the, cur- the colonel's a colonel. We're all like l- lieutenants and uh, everything else <laughs> below that. So, the, once the colonel sets up Paul's the album the release party, we're gonna we'll announce that so everyone Private. definitely come out. Private get some Paul. vinyl. Get some vinyl. You never. Hey, who knows what'll happen? So, how many songs are on the new you record? Know, 12. 12. 12. 12. We got twelve kick-ass fucking songs. You guys wrote all the these fucking, together? Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. I'm yes. stoked to hear it, man. Yeah. I can't wait. You heard a few of them yeah. tonight. They had yeah. two of them. They, like they, like. they had two of them done when <laughs> no, I joined. I liked them all, dude. <laughs> Bullshit, man. We went, the this, rest of them were again, done good with me. fucking Detroit like said, rock and roll, baby. The first album, uh, me and Bill wrote most of the tunes, and Paul's got some uh, tunes he wrote on this one. So it's a uh, this has got the whole band in here. You know. So, what I mean? so the this last was, record was recorded uh, at, at your both, place. Yeah. Yes. It, yeah. And it was, is, is that how you met these guys then, or or what? It, we, no. Paul just stepped in when we were recording the album, so he, yeah, you know what I mean. Kind of coincided. Yeah, it just all happened together. Through like the strains in a sense, like you know, members right. Pete, you know, the bass player, Gracie, whatever. Yeah, we've known those guys for years. Yes. Yeah, we, yeah, we. I think Paul, uh, Bill put a Facebook post up, and Paul said, "I'm your man." And yeah, we yeah. were like, yeah, we're looking that's for a guitar a, player. Yeah, exactly." Paul's like, "I yeah. want to do it." I'm like, "Are you serious?" The internet like, has, yeah. is actually good for some kind of something. see. <laughs> no, I don't think it was a Facebook post. It was something else. It was public. Right? Tinder. No, it wasn't public. I think <laughs> Look at my grinder. Grinder, God damn it, grinder. Look at my wiener. 
That's well, <laughs> we we know how you're swinging. That's, I keep winking at you. Yeah. That's actually news to me. Damn it! I don't remember <laughs> how it happened. So I actually thought I, I actually post. thought it, it was, was just a Facebook post. You knew Pete. Or because we know Pete, and we've been working with Pete since, like, 1992. Oh, Pete's cool shit, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, Pete records, too, right? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Made a lot of records with him. Yeah. So how long did you guys uh, take to make the record? A couple days. Six minutes. You just, just banged her out? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's kind of the best way to do it. All, sounds, the, all, the, all the drum sounds tracks the same, then. pretty much done in one session. Time. Yeah. Then overdubs later, you know. Yep. Yeah. Guitar 12, tracks. 12 new tracks. songs. 12 new bullet wound tunes coming at you. Exciting. Oh, yeah. Fucking A. I'm going to sell the CDR on uh, eBay. Uh, actually, I'm going to go through you. Yeah, you, uh, get you, guys you have a store. So that way it's worth something. <laughs> <laughs> fucking shit up. Except there. Paul. I'm kidding. Wait, you, I just love, I love bust your balls, man. That's fine. <laughs> you were fucking with me yesterday online, man. Somebody, you're gonna get a duck in the mail. I don't care. Some, <laughs> some, <laughs> somebody, do you see my post the other it's day? It's bad. Or if yesterday, you, if you start getting ducks. Somebody said I look like I'm 60 years old. Do I look 60 years old? No. You got something against people that are 60 years old? No, not at all. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm only 50, man. <laughs> You, yeah. don't look, you don't look 60, dude, at all. He looks 12 times 5. Our fucking songs. What a dick. looks like James Hetfield. <laughs> <laughs> Our songs kick ass most of the fucking... You would never know where your fucking parents... <laughs> we fucking kick your ass. You know what I mean? You come to one of our live shows... He just winked see, again. You know what I mean? I, I can't right. even look at him anymore. <laughs> yeah, don't. You're sexy bitch. Joe, just encourage him. Sexy why, why does he wink all the time? Why do you do that? I don't know. Do you have Tourette's? Yeah. <laughs> what fuck shit what? what fuck you ask me a fuck fuck what and his voice Not is like swearing kind and he's got a quacking <laughs> voice like <laughs> bah, bah, bah. <laughs> that's it that's the new thing now with his winking <laughs> you set yourself hey, up bro. Hey, it's perfect Don't, because it, hey, fits, it fits in with his band name eric dude. w link eric, be, eric winking link. you know what i've always said be the original link. buy original okay be original, <laughs> buy original, okay? <laughs> and my whole life is like that. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. He's wink. killing me over here. Did he wink when he said that? Fuck yeah, I did. God damn it. I, I looked away this time. I'm not. I'm, I'm afraid to make eye, eye contact anymore. It's because he's getting enamored over here. Yeah, he's no, fucking probably No, hard. I'm getting a boner. Yeah, <laughs> oh, my I, God. I got the weirdest boner right now. <laughs> oh, Lord. It's so crooked. It All never right. goes to the right. <laughs> Yeah. I'm ge I'm getting an inverted boner. It's just creeping <laughs> further <laughs> inside of me. <laughs> Fucking shit's poking <laughs> his prostate, man. Mine's an any now. <laughs> it's fucking turtling. It's out of here. It's in reverse. <laughs> Wait, thanks, thanks, Paul. No. I just skewed what, all over what's the place. What's not a turtle? What's that? The the Japanese uh, turtle that spun around and shot. Gamera. Oh, Gamera. Gamera. <laughs> not a turtle, but a Japanese turtle. She's you mean a Japanese Gamera. turtle? She's going. Gamera. The sparks came out of the shell. <laughs> yeah. I've gone one hundred percent Gamera. <laughs> and you know where the flame comes out of, right? Worse. <laughs> Oh, he just got one jet ass. comes out the back. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking awesome. It's nice to see we can actually keep one episode music related. It's impossible. Uh, I know. <laughs> what the hell is that guitar you're playing, man? That white thing. It's an E Man uh, custom made guitar from yeah, this guy here. I think it sounds good. It's it cool area. as fuck, man. Yeah. His name's Dave Gregory, and I needed a Epiphone. Wait, so you had it built from the ground up? Whatever. Yes. Okay. I t I t I wanted local to guy too. So yeah, I keep coming. Oh, yeah, he's local. He's uh, his name's David Gregory. E Man Guitars. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. Sounds great. Yeah, I. It does. Well, I was looking for an Epiphone. Well, sounds Crestwood. great. Looks cool. Hey, we got a Ep visitor Epiphone here. Epiphone Crestwood Deluxe, but they're impossible to find. There was only like sixty something made in yeah. the in the sixties, so. Good luck finding one. I was like, hey, man, why don't you just that make cat me there, one? Man. So I had a friend of mine like take some measurements uh, on a guitar. Like a friend of mine in Germany actually got one. Yeah. And he took some measurements, sent them over. I gave them to Dave. And he, <laughs> and he knew somebody had the That's guitar just to get like the nut width and stuff like that. Right. So is that pretty much a one off then? Yeah. I mean, I might have him make another one. But I'm saying, like, no, he's not mass producing these things, right? No. I was digging the pickups. 
Yeah, those are Seymour Duncan antiquity uh, mini humbuckers in there. I just thought the body shape was cool. The fucking yeah, the, 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 the Bigs be on there, man. Yeah, that's fucking, an old Epiphone. <laughs> that was right? a familiar in the 1800s, man. <laughs> I mean, fourteen hundred. If that cat claws your face off, that's on you, bro. (laughs) (laughs) You can take that wink right out your face. And I pray it fucking happens, (laughs) because that will not be edited. There'll be gifts. There'll be memes. (laughs) Oh yeah. That cat ain't got (laughs) chains. God, I wish I had my other cat now. She would fuck you up, dude. (laughs) Still loving the explorer. My paws walking away from me. Like that's a good guitar, man. Yeah, I played a I fucking played cast a, like this motherfucker. Are, just are, those, at me. Uh, are those dirty fingers in that guitar? Yes, they should be. Wait, do they have two? Does each uh, half of the pickup have uh, adjustable screws on it? Yes. Then it's dirty fingers. Um, because that's a telltale sign of a dirty fingers Gibson pickup. Um, on the, I, on the record, I played uh, an Explorer as well, but it's a seventy seventy six. Ooh. Le nice yes with tar back pickups in it. Fun times. It's got yeah. a neck like a baseball bat. So though. so is so my gear, Epiphone gear wise. I, why did you start explore. playing through the the freaking uh, the Marshall amp? Because Pete said because, so. Because you know, when this guy introduced me to Motorhead back in eighties, I fell in love with Lemmy's guitar sound. To be honest, you know? guitar sound. And I didn't really fucking bass well, sound. Bass guitar sound. It's guitar too. It's still a guitar, <laughs> technically. But you're not, you're actually not like overdriving it as much as Lemmy did. No, no. But it, well, dude, his, it his sounds like three hundred killer watts. though, man. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I just I just think that's the coolest sound. You know, as simple as that. You know, other bands that did more of a like an oi punk sound, where it's just kind of a clean guitar, Fender, and bass through a sound with and a, pig, right? Yeah, like a little bit of. Uh, it's almost like a third guitar player ish, a little bit. What's that? It's almost like a third guitar player it a little is. bit. It yeah. is. Because right. you're getting some of the uh, like the mids out of it, but you're getting that bottom end though as well, man. Yeah, yeah. I really enjoy a bass through a fuzz pedal. That's that's just me. Yeah. You know, it's good that, shit. I was gonna say I was gonna say because even when he first started out playing, because I, I don't remember what kind of guitar bass you had. Most, that whatever that cheap bass. Madeira or something. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Tysco. But, but he had that, but he played but he played it through a fuzz box. It was my first guitar. Yeah, it was and an Arian uh, distortion pedal. Uh, yeah, that's, A-R-I-O-N. Yeah. I don't want to offend anyone. <laughs> so it, it, was, it, it was a weird-ass, cheesy-ass distorted sound, but it, it worked, you know. It worked really eights. good. It worked really Sometimes good. Sometimes the cheap shit's cabinet, good, man. Yeah. I think that cabinet you were using in those days was a, a, essentially a guitar cabinet anyway. Mm-hmm. Jack White made the cheap shit famous. And he was just using that because that's what he had. You know, because it was he was able to get it cheap. You know, we didn't 100%, know anything man. about equipment then. I played one of them old airliners. I'm like, how the fuck do you even play this thing, man? <laughs> yeah, they're they're hard to they're play. Aw- they're awful. Yeah. Montgomery Ward sold those. Monkey <laughs> Wards, my mom used to call it when really? I was a kid. Yeah. yeah. I saw her mine. Good old Monkey, Monkey Ward. Wards. Yep. Yeah, I got a whole pile of Tyscos at my house. Oh, we, oh, should, we should play with them. Yeah. Goof around with them. Some Aww. of them. That's cute. Aww. <laughs> doing, 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 doing. Yeah, so it's you know it's well known that Dave and I have a bromance. Mm, you know? Yeah, it's it's pretty cute. I'm not even shy about it. Stop. It's very very cute. So is this like, is this one of your guys' primary residence here? Is yeah, your home. I, I live here, sir. Yes. Cool. I live yes. up by the big river. Well, I, the reason I asked is I just heard him say at my house I have these things. I thought maybe you guys were like. Here what, what dating no. or something? No, just <laughs> roommates. <laughs> partners. Like roommates. <laughs> Me and Rich are like this. They miss. Yeah. We, we're ships in the night. We are not life we never partners, dock. sir. No. no, my mind's not in the gutter. That's not what I meant. Oh, that's where my humor goes straight This to the guy's bucket. mind's in the gutter. <laughs> right in the booty. <laughs> <laughs> right in the mud hole. Right there, man. Instantly. <laughs> so how many amps do you own now? Me? Do you ever count them? Yes. <laughs> yes, daily. <laughs> Yeah. I go take oh, a tally. Do you have a, a proper few. inventory of what you have? Quite a few. Yes. You're full of shit, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did. You just show up at his house, grab something he would never fucking know, dude. <laughs> no, I I did take an inventory with my uh, buddy Stevie, but the inventory changed drastically since that inventory. I ca- I did a rough count. I think there's like 90 amps. Jesus, man. I know. Come on. <laughs> I know. I thought my 20 wasn't. A, a I tell lot. you what, though. This is actually probably a good retirement plan, though. That's it, my. It's like like the longer the shit sits there, which you have great stuff, dude. So like it's just going to go up in value. Oh, yeah. 
The yeah. actual fun part was trying to put everything back where it goes. Because we had a rehearsal and everything was, you know, he had amps all over the place. I was having a shoot. Like, that's out. not where that goes, dude. Yeah, but <laughs> he was trying to figure out, okay, where does this go? Oh, this goes over here. This goes over here. Is it alphabetical? Is it by serial number? Like, it's like by, what do I do? It's by uh, era. I got a, oh, okay. I got a PV deuce at my house. <laughs> deuce. Yeah. I got the classic, too. I got the 100 and the 50 water. PV deuces are fun. <laughs> I got one that's gutted out by Benson We amps. should talk trade or... Yeah, it's a cool amp, dude. It's got that's got a, a solid state preamp, doesn't it? No, it's all four six L sixes and two preamp tubes. I think two preamp tubes. I, I seem to recall the Deuce being a solid state front this end. Mid seventies. I got the hundred water too. Oh, boy. oh, the Deuce has got two six L sixes, and then the hundred watts got four. Oh, oh those old PVs are fun. They They're super really clean and fucking. Wow. What's the uh, what's that old Vox you got sitting over there in the corner? AC thirty. Is it a real one? Is it hand wired? Uh, no, no, it's a, it's a Chinese one. Oh, the CC they one. They still sound pretty cool. They sound good. I forget had a. Uh, it was like a blue Tolex AC15. I think it was like a limited edition yeah, thing. Whatever. We should have never sold that amp. It was yeah. so good. It was. It was actually. Yeah, it's pretty fucking tight. I'm pissed. I sold my Tiny Terror too. I really love that amp. AC15s are nice. It's the same thing as an AC30, basically, but less output. They make a 50, too, right? AC-50? AC-50. There was one at Gordy's I tried out, but it was just obnoxious. Yeah. It was too loud. It's like any Fender amp I've ever played. It's one. You get to one. Ah, that's way too fucking loud. Yeah, exactly. You have put just a soaker that, on that, that fast. thing. Well, I changed the, the, the tube. You can do the tube trick with it. Didn't you fuck the amp up or some shit? Yeah, or? it's not working. I get over to Paul's and see if you can figure it out. What did you fuck up? Did one fuck of, one of the tubes gets really bright. The other one barely glows at all. Which What kind of amp is it? Uh, Fender Deluxe. Fender what deluxe? It's got a board of it. Deville. Is it just Deville? Fender deluxe. Yeah, just Fender deluxe. Yeah. Deluxe reverb. It's like a one ten. No, I don't, I don't think it's deluxe reverb. No, it's just Fender deluxe. Yeah. Hmm. I'll take some pics of it. Okay. I tried different tubes. Does the same thing. Well, only after it's been on for a while. Okay. Bring it over. You probably get through a set with it, and then it starts fucking up. Starts cutting out. Sure, blame the amp. Maybe it could be. <laughs> well, you're really talented if you can cut out. Without, right? Without it being the equipment, if you can cut exactly out. Exactly 35 minutes in, the yeah. amp shuts off. That's some fucking every talent, fucking time. Yeah. <laughs> I like my kill switches, too. They're fun. Yes. My goth explorer case. Yes. One. Oh, yeah, with the push button kill switch. I took all the black shit off. I put all cream. Oh, yeah? What bands it have you been good. in before? Maybe I know. Around here, just bang shifter. Okay. Send me a picture of the Goth Explorer, please. Oh, it's an Epiphone. Never bang mind. Bang shifter. That's pretty cool. That's a fucking good guitar, man. Bang shifter. I don't need another Explorer. Why don't you do a bang shifter or a bullet slash bang shifter. shifter? Yeah. We have to find a drummer first. Hey, That's right, Dave. what do you have going you, on? You just fired the guy, or <laughs> did yeah. he, he quit? No, uh, he was he was let go. Oh. Don't you know you're not supposed to let somebody go until you got a replacement? <laughs> Never thought of that. <laughs> Isn't that what women do? No. Yes. <laughs> they don't leave until they got somewhere else to go. Right. <laughs> yeah, it don't really work that way. No. All right, let's take one more break. And then uh, we'll come back and wrap her up. And then kick these guys the fuck out of my house. Yeah. I don't <laughs> kick them out of my house. I'm going to, a, I'm going to a haunted woods party with dogfish. <laughs> Tonight, we'll be discussing cocaine.
And we're back. There we go. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> Just sit out for five fucking minutes, man. <laughs> Where's your trash can? Forget? Over by the washer uh, dryer. Get it, rid of that fucking ugh. plastic bottle. By the American flag. <laughs> There's actually one right here, I think. Yeah, yeah it's right There was. That was loud as fuck, I gotta, dude. I gotta go I soon, guys. Is it? Yeah, so do I. We'll be done in like five minutes, dude. Yeah, we gotta do the wrap up and then we're out of here. Sounds good. Wanna do a sign off real quick? Paul's gotta go. Yeah, we gotta come back and get the drop from you guys. You go around the table. Yeah, I'm so and so. I'm so and so. Upcoming show. We're bullet yeah, wound, yeah, and you're yeah. listening to Detroit State of Mind. Okay. This was fun, fellas. Well, yeah, wait, man. we'll get to that. Good times. <laughs> We'll get yeah, to the, I would love to do a show with you guys. We'll it's get great. to the compliments. Yeah, so that was fun. Meet you guys. You Anytime I get to hang out with my bromance here is good by me. Yeah. You guys should dock later or something. Dude, I wish I could have got it recorded all the shit he was saying at fucking <laughs> the Bolero. I'm like, fucking shut up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this one goes out to Dave Willie. Uh, you were saying a bunch of shit, man. Didn't Listen, he insult my, me my, or something? My personal bromance. Yeah. He said something good about me. And he goes, not you, Rich. <laughs> it's something, man. It was like, what, funny. like what a dick. <laughs> I thought Rich was gonna get in a fight. It was good. Here, it was a good night. Yeah. Get back down. Here. I just like to. You're not a dishy, no takey. Oh, you, dude, you, you bring it on, man. Day. Oh, fuck yeah. You dish all day, but you're a pretty good takey. <laughs> you got to be able to, man. Yeah. So speaking of which, when I said 3 p.m. yesterday, I meant 3 p.m. Pacific time. Oh. Specific time. We missed it again. We missed it again. <laughs> exactly. This is 318 right now. Damn it. Time. Yeah, it's on at 8 o'clock. Specific, specific hey, time. Rob, you haven't said anything about my shirt. I didn't even notice it. Your fucking beard's in the way, dude. Acid, baby. Remember them guys? No. Oh, they were Belgian, dude. They were awesome. Kate loved her hairy armpits. <laughs> hey, Braden, the shit guy. She's singing like that, you know. <laughs> I like Harry. Loves armpits. the fucking Harry Armpits. That's a joke. They call it. They call it the Belgian Bush. I love them. Uh, I like my women squatchy. Uh, I just remember that picture. The on the, squat, that, squatchy. That, that witch's gown on the poster, and she's like this, and it's just like. Paul, Paul likes them with that 17th century bush. I mean, it's just oh, their oh, yeah. starts huge. with their belly button and ends at the top of their butt crack. Oh, yeah, <laughs> never stops. One thing I know, it just goes all the way around. You, Lindsey Buckingham <laughs> has no fucking hair. Lindsey Buckingham, the guitar player from. Uh, what about him? Where does this come from? No man? hair, no hair. Why are you no thinking hair. about him? I never even noticed How do you that. Even know that? Did you go down on him? <laughs> Ooh, shit. <laughs> like, like, every time I bought him out, it's all prickly. Uh, he he's, <laughs> he's like, Holiday Row. Oh, 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 Lin I thought he was talking about the guy from Fleetwood Mac. No. Oh. He who said the, Lindsay who the fuck Did that, that just happen? <laughs> All right, let's, let's oh, get this I thought in. you were talking about right. go your own yeah. way. So who are you talking right. about? The guitar player With no electric pubes. Wizard. Check. Uh. Oh, yeah. yeah. How do you, you know about remember the... those days? That's right. I remember... I got a fucking electric wizard poster in my basement. Oh, I love that poster, dude. I forgot and, and all about that shit. Every fucking time we'd have a practice at my place, he'd point to that fucking poster and go, no fucking hair. <laughs> yep. Yep. I love Electric Wizard. That's yeah, a Electric band. Wizard. Yep. What is happening right now? I don't, I, I don't, I don't get any of this. <laughs> it's a total inside joke between these guys. Metal bullshit. Yeah. You wouldn't understand Paul's metal. Yeah, I it is. <laughs> it is. No, electric, electric wizard, wizard is stone. Really, that's stone. just the other heavy dun, fuzzy. Dun, 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 you ever listen to Mono Lord? No. Yeah, Dude. I have. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are we recording again? Are we yeah, recording? we're still we recording. never stopped. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I thought we were going back record. for the intro thing. Or the... Now, we're going to wrap it up. You guys nice can get out of here. Paul's nice got to leave. Slow. Thank you guys very much for coming and jamming for us. Thanks man. for having great. us. All right. yeah. Check out the new Bullet what? Wound fucking CD. All right. Holy right. mackerel. Right. I don't think you mentioned right. it. Hold your horses, yeah. Winky. Right. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you just winked again. Damn right. Okay, so so do you guys have any upcoming shows you want to plug? Anything like that? We don't. Anything? We don't. Well, we have Nothing. the album coming out. Yep. We've been focusing on the new album. We've wrapped it up. 
This is the only thing closer to a gig. Okay, well, yeah. right on. You guys got any of these stickers? I'd like to have one. Uh, no, I, you don't, don't have any more of those? I can make some more. I don't have any right we'll now. We'll get some to Paul. We'll so promise. We, so we come here and do this show. We don't get no swag. Is that what you're fucking saying? <laughs> no, we gave it all away last week. <laughs> you guys do their shirts do and everything. <laughs> you do stickers? Yeah. Nice. There's like one shirt on that big titty fucking bitch on the fucking washer and dryer. I always if someone have, wants to steal it, you can have it. I always oh. seem to have a problem finding people who would print stuff on vinyl for stickers. Oh, well, yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah, oh, yeah. there's one of me over there right by Paul. Don't try stealing it. I'll, I'll get you one. I want that. That's what. That's Willie. Willie. Oh. This Willie. cat. This cat's very friendly. Yeah, she's cool. Caught your good side. That's she Olive. Needs, what's she her needs, name? She needs a, her name is Olive. Olive. Yeah. Olive. She needs a Detroit state of mind. I got sure. two cats when my daughters lived here, and uh, they moved out. They're supposed to take the cats, and never did. Hmm. Well, one of them got taken finally. Well, yeah, but that's Olive. Okay, let's let let's let these motherfuckers get go out around here. the table. Say your name, and then we are bullet wounds. If you guys want to try to do it all together, nobody ever gets done the first try. Do you ever use these plugs at all? Yeah, all the time. On four, you don't watch the show after I make four. it. No, no, on four, forget about it. Well, I, I watched some. Well, I don't watch it all the way. Three. One, I lived it, man. Two, two three, four. We, we are, are bullet wound, wound. Uh, and we're on Detroit State of Mind. Yes. Well, it, it was a good try. Yeah, it was uh, <laughs> pretty good, man. All right. Thanks for coming, of, guys. A lot of fun, man. Thanks, yep. guys. Yeah, now get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Cheers, dudes. I'm Dave, and he's Rich. And thanks for tuning in to the Detroit State of Mind podcast. Join us again next week for more shenanigans and probably a lot of fucking swear words. Good evening. Sleep tight. Don't let the fucking bed bugs bite. All that other good shit. With the Detroit State of Mind podcast. 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 You. I wish they'd play my band. I doubt it. You. I could write this whole fucking thing in eight minutes. By the time I finish this fucking thing, I'll be out of a job. That's true. I'll be covering my own story. No, Rich Fish will be covering me. I'll be in the fucking unemployment lines. Doris will be saying, I wanted the blue-eyed motherfucker to get fired. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> fuck. Oh, fuck. Can you imagine if they had switched those stories and I hadn't caught those numbers? The news is off today. We're attending Terry's funeral. Bill killed him last night for a smart remark. A reverent remark that cost Terry his fucking life. His mother is throwing a party. She hated the little bastard from the day he caused her the stretch marks that ruined her temporary beauty. 